So how does egocentrism relate to living carefree? So egocentrism is our inability to untangle our subjective truth. You know, we're the center of the universe and it's our ego from the objective reality. You know, what is actually going on? This subjectivity does help us, but it does get us into trouble. The part of us that thinks we're the center of the universe, you know, it's, it's, it's our ego, it's doing its job. But if you're unable to separate yourself from that, you know, and clock out of that and get into a different perspective, you can get yourself into some trouble. You know, it's gonna cause you some stress. If you have a high level of egocentrism, you know, you will involve yourself in things that do not really involve you. You know, they, they don't include you. They're, you're not a part of their cause and effect, but you, you know, think that you're a part of the reasoning. You're a part of this cause and effect. You're a part of this situation. And that's just gonna bring you stress. And if that's not the reality, then you just created stress that's gonna hurt you. We do this a lot. So how do we, you know, improve this or combat this? Um, I always like it's, it's good to watch things. Watch things go on and let go. You know, understand that something's gonna happen. You don't need to tell someone. You don't need to call it, you know, watch things and let it go and practice that. That's really going to embed this separation, you know, that part of you. Um, and that's going to ultimately help you harmonize with things that you need to harmonize with. You'll be, you know, more attractive to people being able to kind of understand that, you know, you're not the center of the universe. So ask yourself, you know, how does, how does this relate to me? Am I egocentric? Are there moments where I'm egocentric? Uh, what are the effects? What's it's doing? Let's raise a little bit of awareness here. See what's up.